Hi guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Alan Wake. We are trying to find our wife. She's been kidnapped. Definitively taken away by somebody. We have to go... Oh, oh no. Light. A light to reveal. Hey, I'm on TV again. Through darkness shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. I'm crazy on TV again. It's so. a really hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. So he's sitting there and he's writing a story in which he's currently... I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently... Caused. He's the main okay, character. Sheriff. It's a story about him. He's writing the story that he's in right now. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with I like his accusing finger. Set something up with her? Just right right in his face. My clinic is a place where Oh! oh. Whoa. All right. Oh, I think that's Barry. That's our agent. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? The dude in the puffy coat. His agent? If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. I guess that's the way it doesn't always work. Um, the pressing charges thing. Yeah. Like, you can't just... In most cases, if a police officer sees a crime, they are supposed to act on it. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, no, 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 never mind. I don't want that to... Now, for some things, you can rescind your... Okay, we should probably stop talking. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cab. And that's right with the lady recommended. How convenient. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. That's bad. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Barry looks kind of creepy. Yeah. He looks kind of like a loser. I don't know. Not somebody who would be my agent. Mr. takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and... Look at this small town with its mammoth statue. Or, as they call him, Bucktoothed Charlie. Wow. I think Bucktoothed Charlie is going to come alive and we're going to have to fight him. 14,000 years old. Oh, the La Brea tar pits. Those are in, is that in California? I think so. However, look, it was donated to the Elderwood National okay. Park. So, it was... so I will talk to Rusty. Did you see the cougar up on the beam? I did, yeah. That's also probably going to come alive and says that bear. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Yes, I have been drinking. Cock. Someone's got Alice. And everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with the reality, okay. you're, you're buying your Yeah, I'm just going to leave Barry back in there. See there, boy. I'm almost done. No, it's hey, Matt. You rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. There's a bear trap down there. 
That's probably where you just pulled the dog out of. Sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just so we pulled the dog and the dog trap all the way up to the balcony. What happened? Yeah. Um. Oh, see. Foot caught in a trap. He's talking about it. I'll stand next to him. Supposed to hunt within the park at all, but that doesn't stop some low lifes. Well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone. Okay. On the desk. All right. From the man skeleton. Al, you can't just go and meet a kid. <laughs> He's still yapping on. He didn't even notice that I was gone. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen. Well, that's right, Barry. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Did he have to pay? No, he's famous. It's at the end of the nature. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Which means you're going to walk there tonight and get jumped by strange demon things, yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry! Well, Shut up, Barry. Real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I'll just leave him back there. Barry seems super annoying. I don't know. He works for free, though. That's just crazy talk, Al. <laughs> Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a gun. That was fairly ineffective. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Exactly the cavalry, though. Not the police, not the FBI. He wants the cavalry division of the army. And they probably do still have like 12 guys that still ride horses and do lance charges. Um, I, I do believe they do have cavalry division. Um, they, I know that they still have donkeys for um, mountainous regions. And because I've got my flashlight, I'm going to have to shoot stuff. Oh, no, he doesn't work for free. Did you hear that? 15%. 15%. Stupid Barry. Ooh, batteries. You can never have too many batteries. You should just hit him upside the head with the thermos. Well, but then I might have to get rid of one of my thermoses, and I've got a pretty good collection of them. That's the door. Lover's Peak. It's a nice, harmless sounding place, which means that it is going to be full of strange shadow people. So who do you think, do you think somebody kidnapped him because, kidnapped the wife for ransom money? Because I think seemed... this is all in his head. Okay, so you think it's going to turn out that he's been in a coma the entire time. Or um, the TVs that he saw with him being crazy, it sounds like he is starring in his own story about where he gets lost, doesn't know what's going on because he's just a crazy deranged writer, and his wife get ca gets captured, and all that okay, stuff. Okay, still, you still didn't answer the question of why the wife would have gotten captured. Fairy I don't, tale. He's a crazy writer, I don't know. Maybe, but he, didn't, I mean, if he you ever... probably didn't kidnap his own wife. She probably left him because he's nuts. Okay? One week ago. So he, he went on a week-long bender. Yeah. He said, hey, honey, let's go stay out in the middle of this lake. And he just rows out in a boat in the middle of the lake. It's like, okay. And he just starts unpacking his stuff. And he just, like, throws all of his belongings off the edge of the boat. And she goes, you're insane, and leaves. And then leaves. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Can I use Ooh. the truck? Ah. Uh, nah, Barry's got him. What kind of truck is it? And it wouldn't be any use to me in the place. Um. Does it say? It's a truck. It looks like a Toyota. But of course, this one doesn't say. Because it's not a Ford. 
So Ford probably sponsored them just like Verizon and Energizer. I knew I yeah. should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. This is a nice short walk. I'm supposed to head for that one. Oh. oh, geez. Okay. Nothing to be concerned uh, about. Uh, I'm going to take a look in this cabin just in case there's Did you hear the screaming? I did. Nothing to be concerned about. Ah, uh, tire swing. Ah, uh, this not going to be creepy. We're going to look in this abandoned house first. And it's called what's home dead invasion. body? No. Nope. Okay. Home invasion. We're breaking the law. Oh, oh did dear. you saw? Oh, person outside. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see anybody. <sighs> Let's just listen to the radio and relax. No, no. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end. Someone else. Uh... What's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No plan, really. Just taking the. Have we met Dr. Nelson? That was the town doctor that patched us up, right? I believe so, yes. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Bat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the Ooh, pie. judges. Too. Maybe we'll get to do that. Uh, well, it's gonna be haunted pie. Kind of constitution. Haunted pie, you shine your flashlight on it, then while it's stunned, you eat it. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape. Because you have to subdue the ghost berries first. It's like an easy bake oven. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a head of a large mouth. Because that is all that they were, right? It's just a light bulb inside. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. I'm yeah. Not, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. I'm not sure that we get anything out of listening to these. There might be something. <laughs> Considering your track record, the participants... Either way, I don't mind being relaxed. About it. I mean, it's not like we need to rush through it and get it done super fast, is it? It might have just been for a cutscene to trigger, or an event like the guy that walked by the window. Oh, going in the moon? Yeah. And, you know, there was the batteries. Not the batteries, the revolver ammo. Look at that non Are you ready for it to be swing. super creep? Yeah. Yeah, we knew it! Oh, tire swing. It's not haunted, it just wants to play. It's haunted. Okay. It is haunted, and you're gonna turn around, and there's gonna be scary dudes, and it's not gonna be okay. Look, if it was haunted, it wouldn't be able to resist the flashlight. Run into it. <sighs> oh, oh! Okay, don't, don't do that. Never mind, I'm wrong. Don't do that. Ah, okay, it does not like... I'm gonna do it again. Oh, it only does it once. Okay. Okay, so whatever was haunting it, I successfully scared off. That was unexpected, though, because we came yeah. down here. <laughs> we came down here, and we're like, oh, look, it's going to move, and then it <laughs> moved, and we felt really smart, and then we went to go touch it, and uh, it turns out that we didn't know all of the tire's tricks. Okay, back on the main road, where it's perfectly safe. Oh, did you see the light went out? I did. It'll probably come back on. It probably won't. Another cabin, which I will, of course, check out as well. With an RV thing. Camper. See? Lover's Peak to the left. Moonshine Cave. That's where we're going to go. It's a good thing there's no people in any of these, just because if there well, was... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess oh, there's no. nobody living in this one. Kick. It was, it was the bears. Ah, uh, and you see... Oh, birds. And we've got 
empty bottle of alcohol, a TV. Are we gonna get another episode of Night Springs? We are. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode. Oh no. The man in the mirror. Oh no, what? This just seems, I don't know, it just seems bad. He's a weird one. The previous one wasn't especially bad other than the guy killing himself in front of a room full of kids. It was okay. Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. So he, he punched a guy in the head. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't of course you couldn't ID him. You punched his head a lot. Do him like that. I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it. Because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. Dental records. Fingerprints. Or, or those. Your prints. Oh, he killed his clown. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. No, the clown killed the original guy. Oh no! Do you really think that's in any way yeah. relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? I left my mark. Believe me. I wonder if these are... What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. Oh, so it's a reflection thing. Yeah. So he looks different. Okay. And now, there we go. The end. I wonder if that's foreshadowing or if that's just things that the developers thought would be creepy. Probably just things they thought would be creepy. I mean, and it it does give you a reason to investigate all of the houses just so you can see. Because I wonder how many episodes there are. Because if we knew that there was, say, 20 episodes, then we'd have a reason to keep an eye out the entire game for more episodes. Oh, no, the phone. It's going to start ringing. Don't worry. The phone probably doesn't work. And... We're going to come back this... Oh. Hey, look. A crashed van. With a manuscript page in it. Probably nothing to be concerned about, even though there's no people. Oh, it's not a van. It's more of a uh, SUV. I apologize. Fallen rock zone. You mean safe zone? That otherwise, my otherwise known. Oh, uh, we've got some controller vibration. What? It, ooh. L Lucifer. Flashback. Rocks. And all the lights are off. This was no head injury. Um. Oh, that's the visitor center. Okay. Let's get down there. Rusty not, seemed not nice. Not that you can run without being Hold you know, on. Still I... out of shape. See, look. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, I'm not doing good anymore. And that's a second crashed vehicle. Oh, I'm not sure. Something bad happened here. Where's he at? He's probably inside the building. But I need to pick up my manuscript page first. Rusty can wait. I'm gonna check out this other building first. The ranger's office was locked. I need. A oh, so I need to help him it's get on a Rusty's key. Rusty's body. Probably. You know he's gonna die. Or he's going to be turned into one of the zombies. Somebody. Third go, go, crash. Go time. help him. I am. I just don't want to rush in. Back here. I'm back here. Where's the bear statue? 
Uh, you see all the blood? I do see it. There he is. So I'm gonna... Mr. This is probably a trap. <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. Oh, look, it's the dog. I found... Game true. He found a page of my book and he read it. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. No, he's gonna die. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did That's pick up really revolver. trippy. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. And there's the dog. Can I let him out? Good boy. I cannot let him out. Dog's gonna die. Dog's gonna be fine. The dog's gonna stay in the cage. So we'll just Okay, but seriously, where's the bear statue? I uh, one problem at a time. Because I'm just glad that whatever caused all of this isn't still here. Lights back on. Because it looks like a tornado or something. Yeah, but I don't. Why would that? Why would there be a tornado? Why would he be being chased by zombies? And why would he have a magical predictive book? I'll tell you, Washington is not known for its tornadoes. Is it known for being creepy and haunted? Yes. See? But not the tornadoes. Okay. So. Okay. It's a haunted tornado. <laughs> haunted tornado. And here's the room that we're looking for. Batteries, bullets, and only place left is the back room, which is full of beer. Ah, beer and the oh. mains power, which no way I'm turning that on. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh dear. Rusty! Rusty's dead. Rusty is super dead. So whatever it is, it's back. What is that? Oh, it's goop. He Ooh, seems that angry. great. Oh, there's another one that's behind me. Is it? Uh, no. Oh, no, it was that, I guess, waving back and forth that hit me. Or they threw something at you. Oh, and I just missed it. Yeah. Entirely likely. Rusty's gonna be dead, though. We'll go find out. Where are you, Rusty? Nope, Rusty's gonna be gone. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Oh, I was the mammoth. a mammoth-sized hole. Let's look. Oh, okay. I was expecting to look back well, can and you, have it can be you gone. Can you inspect it at all? Like, what anymore? I can inspect is the fact that the dog's gone. See that? Yeah, don't feed the animals. We're gonna find the bear. Oh, that's Rusty. Rusty, Rusty, no! Never. It is Rusty. Oops. Two bears and wolves never approach any other wolf or closer than forty-five yards. Look at how fast Rusty can run. Oh, Rusty. We're probably gonna have to fight the dog, too. Is that the the end? Oh, there he goes. This includes even you may or even simple berries! Rusty's dead. Rusty is well, tough. Rusty's sturdy. In that sense, Rusty is very similar to normal people. 
Hey, look, more Vastis. Ouch. And, oh look, they opened a convenient path for me. I do hope the dog's okay. Oh, look, reach Lover's Peak. Ah, oh, well, you found the guy you were looking for, but he's a demon and everything's destroyed. Don't worry about it. Oh, but it wasn't the guy you were looking for. You were just trying to get to the peak and then the thing happened and you were, like, walking by. Well, right, but the game lost focus on Find Rusty. Find Rusty? Oh, that's what happened to him. Isn't that just the darndest thing? Well, I think it's because you killed Rusty. You see that? Yes, the tree fell over. I'd be concerned. It is nothing to be concerned about. Uh-oh. Um, hey, look. Random chair. Is that blood? Random bucket. It might be blood. It's not mine, so it's nothing to be worried about. There's a drop hazard. So this is just going to take me down onto the path. Oops, somebody's calling you. It's Barry. What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Oh, so, Barry. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Barry's going to be dead. You know, I suppose this is proof that it's a video game. Everything's haunted, and my first reaction is, ooh, there's probably a hidden item out here in the woods. <laughs> there's plenty of hidden items. Visitor Center, Elderwood National Park. The Visitor Center's not a very friendly place. Not anymore. You know, I wonder if it's still gonna be destroyed when it's daylight again. Like, I wonder if we're gonna go back up there and everything's gonna be fine and Rusty's just oh, going to be gone. Oh, probably. You shouldn't drink in camp. And that is... That is the path. But drinking and camping is fun. Are you sure it's not drinking that makes camping fun? Well, yeah, you, you get drunk and then you stumble into the fire pit and, uh, yeah. And then there's zombies and they eat you and then camping. Fun. What's in this emergency supply box? Now, most emergency supply boxes I've seen in real life have band-aids in them, not yeah. bullets. Though, would you really, tr if you were, like, walking through the woods at night and you came upon one of those boxes... If I found a box full of bullets in woods that were dark like this, I would be a little bit concerned. I think I'd be a lot bit concerned. Do not feed the wildlife. We're gonna find that bear. Hey, bird. Go away, bird. I wouldn't trust any of these bridges either. Lover's Peak is that way. Far end of the nature trail. Far end of the nature trail. But I'm going to follow this around. Here's uh -oh, Moonshine, Moonshine Cave. Cave. I wanted to oh, visit no. Moonshine Cave. I don't think it's going to have enemies in it, because it's the glow-in-the-dark paint always ends with helpful items. I mean, admittedly, this is a creepier-than-usual place for helpful items. You don't find a dead body. And some helpful items. Moonshine Cave. Site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout Prohibition. Temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada. But at times, alcohol was also distilled on the premise. I wonder if, like, that was an actual place. It's not a place I've heard of. But then most of the things in the game are fictional but familiar. I've got me a shotgun and I've got me a box. Just like I'm pretty sure there's not a Elderwood National Park. It sounds like a something. Yeah, that could it, be it a definitely real place. sounds like a thing, but or maybe it it 
maybe it is a real place in some other state, and so they just transplanted it. Oh, yeah. Hey, the door looks a lot more closed than it did last time. Attack from all opens. sides? No. Not attack from all sides. Down here, maybe. Hey, look, a phone booth. Maybe this one's going to ring. Because lights keep on going out when we approach them. Oh. Oh, but it's off the hook. And there's... We are surrounded. Oh, I'm using my shotgun. You know, those guys are right next to each other. I wonder if I can... Oh, I was hoping it would hit both of them. I am not so lucky. Got a bunch of batteries, though. And I'm out of shotgun ammo. That's lame. That'll show me to use my shotgun on things. Can I hide in the porta body? I cannot. How unrealistic. Ah, Lover's Peak on the other side of yet another rickety bridge. Because so far the game's done pretty good about not surprising us with bridges falling over. I'm sure there's plenty of time for that later. Lover's Peak. And again, I'm going to go the wrong direction just in case there's useful items. The fog's getting increasingly wiggly, which means we're going to be attacked as soon as we get up here. Manuscript page. Or maybe that was the end of it. Just short path. Oh, look, abandoned truck in the middle of the woods. Uh, now there's some creepy stuff happening. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Oh, um, I guess that fern that was in front of the rock. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get back on the path because I am liking the weather here less and less. Path, path. There we go. Back oh, on the path. Oh, it's still happening. Yeah, but I'd rather it happen on the path than in a place surrounded by trees. See? It's calmed down quite a bit now. Okay. Onwards and upwards into Lover's Peak. What does that say? Hiking area. Motor vehicles prohibited. Dogs, Dogs must, must be leashed, leashed at all times, etc. You're gonna get eaten by Max. He's gonna be Super Shadow Max. Okay. Which the... actually sounds pretty badass. Shadow Maximum. Shadow Maximum us. So that's the path, I think, that continues on. But I'm going to go up here because the light is always safe. Unless this one also goes off as soon as I step into it. That looks kind of like a person, but it's a carved bear. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Again. So I'm going to reload, and then I'm going to switch back to my pistol. Uh, there's back to the visitor center. I didn't want to go back to the visitor center. That place is bad luck. So where is the... Oh. Right down oh, there. Right there. If it's just one guy, though, I'll be fine. So I wonder if... The... Oh, that's why the houses were empty. Here's all the people. They came out to kill me. Mm, I've heard of the Great Old One, though. Cthulhu. That's the one you've heard Cthulhu. of. Cthulhu. The Great Old One. He's a tree. But then again, there's so many giant trees in Washington that he's are kind the tree of old. That lives under this, he's the tree that lives under the sea. Okay. So, we're probably like halfway to Lover's Peak. So I'm going to sit right here under the great old one, which is perfectly safe. And 
we will finish the rest of our relaxing nighttime hike next time. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in a day or so. Thank <laughs> you.